Unraveling, Be No More, Understanding Its Use in English. Hello, dear viewers. In today's video, we're going to explore a phrase that often confuses English learners, be no more. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, understanding such expressions is vital for fluency. So, let's dive in and demystify, be no more, together. Be no more, is a phrase that is used to signify that something has ceased to exist or is no longer alive. It can refer to a wide range of subjects, from people and animals to things and places. The phrase has a formal or literary tone, and you might encounter it in books, poems, or very formal speeches. It's important to know that it's not commonly used in everyday conversation, where phrases like, gone, doesn't exist anymore, or passed away, are preferred. To understand better, let's look at how, be no more, is used in sentences. The ancient civilization that once thrived here is now be no more. With the final episode airing last night, our favorite show is be no more. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, creatures that ruled the earth are be no more. By using, be no more, in these examples, the speaker adds a touch of gravity and formality to the situation being discussed. In literature, literature often uses, be no more, to evoke emotion or stress the finality of death or disappearance. For instance, a character in a novel might say, he is be no more, after losing a loved one, suggesting a permanent and profound loss. In everyday contexts, although not common in daily speech, it might be used for dramatic effect, like when announcing the closure of a historic place or after the loss of a significant landmark. Someone might say, this place is be no more. Understanding the nuance between be no more and similar expressions is crucial. Here's how it differs from others. Passed away, or deceased, is specific to death, while be no more can refer to the end of existence in any form. Gone, or extinct, may imply a less permanent state or less formality compared to be no more. When you decide to use be no more, remember, it's best suited for formal or literary contexts. Use it when you want to emphasize the finality or significance of something's end. Be aware of the tone it sets in your conversation or writing. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has clarified the meaning and use of be no more for you. It's a phrase with depth, often reserved for specific contexts that merit a somber or formal tone. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using English phrases like a pro. Until our next lesson, keep learning and stay curious.